Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about how baroreceptors regulate our blood pressure. Basically, regulation of blood pressure is of uh, two, uh, two types, short term regulation and long term regulation. Short term regulation is by baroreceptor reflex and long term uh, regulation is by renin angiotensin aldosterone system. These baroreceptors are also called as stretch receptors. Consider this as an arch of iota and uh, carotid arteries coming from them. Consider this, this is the carotid uh, sinus and uh, aortic arch. These are the places where we have our baroreceptors. Baroreceptors present on these two parts of our body. The main is carotid sinus. There is solitary nucleus of medulla which which responds to increase or decrease in blood pressure. Aortic arch carotids from aortic arch vagus now carries impulses from aortic arch to solitary nucleus of medulla and from carotid sinus glossopharyngeal now transmit the signals. Consider there is an hemorrhage in which uh, there, there will be a fall in our blood pressure. As a result, there will be decreased stretch on the receptors, baroreceptors. That as the lumen does not get dilated, uh, there will be decreased stretch. And hence, there is a decreased afferent uh, uh, rate from carotid sinus receptors. This results in decreased parasympathetic output to heart, which results in increased heart rate. And as a result of decreased firing rate of uh, carotid sinus receptors, there will be increased sympathetic outflow to heart and blood vessels. As a result, heart rate gets increased. There will be increased in contractility of the myocardium. And there is increased in con constriction of arteries, uh, through which uh, total peripheral, peripheral resistance will get increased. And there are also increased constriction of veins. Heart rate and increased contractility results in increased cardiac output. We all know that mean arterial pressure is equal to cardiac output into total peripheral resistance. Hence our BP gets to normal. Normal blood pressure is achieved through this mechanism by baroreceptors. In paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardias, there will be high, higher heartbeat, higher heart rate. There will be increased heart rate in this condition. The treatment of choice for in this is carotid massage, carotid sinus massage. What is this carotid sinus massage? As we apply pressure on carotids, there will be increased pressure uh, in carotid of uh, carotid sinus. As a result, stretch receptors gets activated. This results in increased firing rate or increased afferents from baroreceptors. This is reverse as uh, from which we have discussed earlier. As there is increased afferents, uh, increased AV node refractory period, the refractory period of AV node gets increased. This results in decrease in heart rate. This is the mechanism of carotid massage. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share if you like the video and please subscribe to my channel.